Hi, Karen here. Your feet matter. Correct overpronation and avoid various problems. Pronation is the action of the foot as it rolls inward upon foot contact with the ground. This action acts as a shock absorber for the foot and the rest of the body. Over pronation occurs when a person's foot rolls inward and their arch flattens while performing weight bearing tasks. The foot may appear normal while sitting, while with a noticeable arch under the foot, but over pronation becomes evident when a person stands or walks or performs sports activities. Even people with normal foot structure can develop over pronation as a result of excess foot stress and improper arch support. There are many possible causes for over pronation, including walking on hard surfaces for extended periods of time, either barefoot or with flat shoes, hereditary obesity, and imbalance between the posterior and anterior leg muscles, or tight gastrocnemius and soleus muscles, among other causes. Since overpronation causes a person to walk along the inner portion of the foot, this poor alignment may lead to injury in the foot and ankle, among other areas. Problems such as heel spurs, plantar fasciitis, shin splints, knee pain, Back pain and other medical issues can be the result of overpronation. There are various methods used to identify overpronation. One method is to look at a person's shoes. If the shoes are more worn on the inside of the sole, then overpronation may be a problem. Another indicator would be to make a footprint with a wet foot. If there is no dry spot to specify the arch, there may be need for special foot care. Recommended forms of treatment for overpronation are to wear supportive shoes, use orthotics, and perform specific exercises to correct alignment and strength. There are many exercises that can help strengthen the foot and improve lower body alignment. One simple conditioning exercise that I like to teach my clients is the towel pull. It's very simple. Just place the towel on the floor. Keep your heels on the floor, but put your toes and the ball of your feet on the towel. Next, pull the towel towards the body with the toes so that the towel gathers underneath the feet. Make sure the foot remains on the floor as the towel is pulled by your toes. This exercise may also be performed while sitting in a chair, but many people will be able to relate the standing exercise to weight-bearing tasks, such as walking, running, or jumping faster than they will with the seated version. Once a person is able to perform several repetitions of this exercise, a small weight can be added onto the towel to add some resistance. One simple drill for alignment awareness involves the use of a mirror. So just stand in front of a mirror barefoot with the feet parallel to one another. Slightly shift your weight inwards and then slightly shift your weight out towards the outer portion of your foot. As you're shifting your weight in and out on your feet, you'll notice that your knees are falling toward one another laterally or pressing out. So try to shift your weight until your knees are perfectly aligned with your middle toes. That is the correct alignment. If your knees are falling toward one another, then you're most likely over pronating. So just be aware of foot placement on the floor in relation to or how it affects the alignment of your knees, hips, and the rest of your body. Another method for teaching proper alignment is very common exercise in the fitness world. It's the squat exercise. So try to perform a squat without weights just to learn the proper foot alignment. It's the same idea as what you just did barefoot facing the mirror. 
Be sure that your knees remain in line with your middle toes as you bend at your hips and knees for the squat. Only go about a quarter to maybe halfway down. Don't go all the way down. But as you do that, watch in the mirror and be sure that your knees remain in line with your middle toes. Many people allow their knees to fall in toward one another, which is actually a result of overpronation. So for safety and success, athletes, as, as well as people not performing sports, must learn proper foot alignment and perform appropriate strength and sport-specific conditioning exercises. Keep in mind, injuries are not necessarily part of sports. Many aches, pains, and injuries may be prevented when, training program, when the training program is carefully constructed and the athletes are carefully monitored. One more note. Exercise should not be performed when there is pain, illness, or injury. So be sure to stop exercising if you feel any of those. Please let me know how I can help you or your athletes. And be sure to have a great day. Best of luck with your goals. And again, let me know how I can help you. KarenGoler.com gymnasticsdrills.com and bestsportsconditioning.com Enjoy your day!